Hello, my fellow AGHEADS, this is Liz. I'm a certified repair technician, and today we're going over Blue Screen Era NTFS file system. We're going over software and hardware solutions. First of all, if you've installed a solid state drive or RAM or anything like that, and now you have a Blue Screen Era, first step, try removing it and restarting the computer. The next step, we're going to remove any sort of USB, CD ROMs, or speakers that could have updated a driver and is now giving you a Blue Screen Era. We're going to hit power and we're going to hold down F9 because we're going to try to enter your recovery manager, which is a nice feature of your ASUS computer. It will look like that and wait for the blue screen. Because we've tried a couple hardware things at this point, so now we're going to go over your software and we're going to approach this by trying to reset your computer. I know it's sad you lose some files, but I'm trying to save a computer here. And this is unfortunately the next step in the troubleshooting method. Okay, so now I've hit that blue screen that I'm waiting for. So, once you get to this screen, hit troubleshoot, reset this PC. We're going to do the remove everything. You could try the keep my files option. It does occasionally work, so you got to always try that first. Uh, but if it doesn't work, remove everything is really the, the more likely fix. So now that we're going to reach this screen, it's going to ask you again to make sure that you really want to delete everything. Now, as a shout out, if you try fully clean the drive, that's what we're going to hit. And it just won't do it or it continues not to work. Like say it crashes halfway through the reset or you find that it still has a blue screen error. It might be that you just need a fresh install of Windows. Unfortunately, sometimes the operating system gets to the point where it's so corrupt, it just needs a fresh install. We have a video down below that shows you how to do that. Install a hard drive and do the fresh ins install. You can skip the portion on hard drive installation. Now, finally, if all these things don't work, like resetting or installing a fresh operating system. Uh, you try both and it just doesn't work. It could be, we saved as the last thing, it could be that your hard drive is dying. Uh, and by the process of elimination, we figured out that that's the last option. You might want to try installing a new one. I know not what you want to hear, um, but one thing is whenever you are replacing these kind of components, you could view it as an opportunity to upgrade to a solid state drive or a larger hard drive. But anyway, that would be the last step in the troubleshooting method. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or you're an egghead like us, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out. we're going to try to hit power and hold down F9 because we're going to work on the software solutions now and we're going to keep tapping on F9 until we enter the recovery manager which is a nice feature of your computer.